What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. Today, we're back at it again, watching My Hero Academia. And today, we're doing Season 6, Episodes 17, 18, 19, and 20. Don't forget to check out that Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited versions, as well as early access. Check out the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. First one is called The Wrong Way to Put Out a Fire, My Hero Academia, Season 6, Episode 17. Let's do it. I'm assuming this is Endeavor, still when he was number two, searching out Ray's family. Yeah, I remember they mentioned Endeavor bought off her parents, more like an arranged... It was a woman like Ayas. An arranged marriage. Which, I don't like that concept of arranged quirk marriages, but I love that they're tackling this deep concept, you know? Oh, look at the young Toya, a.k.a. Dabby. This is crazy. His body itself doesn't like the flames as much, but his quirk is more taken towards endeavors, you know? In this quirk era, it's taboo. I mean, he wanted to uh, follow. Yeah, <sighs> which... It gets complex, complicated, especially from Endeavor's whole taboo situation that's going on. But he's like, why would you light this fire under me and then not allow me to pursue it? You know, obviously a child's not going to understand that it's for his own good, technically, but it's it's a very interesting situation, I can't lie. Which would be what? This is so, like, real and raw. This feels crazy that we're getting this. The seasons are changing. Time is passing by. Natsu is born. Endeavor still pursuing number one. All Might still doing his thing. The, the gap between the number two and the number one increases only further and make, only makes Endeavor more and more frustrated, willing to take it out on his family. And he does. And then the legend himself. My boy Todoroki is born perfectly half and half. Toya's hair is almost all white now. And it's because of the lack of dry from Endeavor to keep... Yeah, he just... I don't... Ah, because I can say I can somewhat relate to him in a certain aspect in which... Once you're the oldest sibling, because I'm the oldest sibling in my house, and your younger siblings, I have two are born and the attention goes to them. It's definitely not the same sort of attention that is going on in this situation. I'm just trying to relate as much as I can. But I can I can get that feeling of like why would you first light this fire under me, then stop and then push it on to some other kid that, you know, isn't me? I can I can do you know like it does make you internalize it, make you I don't even know what he's feeling. I feel so, this is so interesting. And then he's only getting scolded and stuff for it. Look outside of yourself. Endeavor wants him to live a normal life. Look at that face. Yeah. Yeah, you're the one who lit the fire under me, and it won't go away. And he's the son of the number two hero, so he's... Taking it out right on Todoroki immediately, Shoto. So that's why he started separating them during training. It's only making Endeavor more mad, but Rei sure does know how to cut deep. Oh my lord. Knows how to hit where it hurts. His hair is fully white at this point. That's what that's the original shot we saw during season two. You're a different breed than them. Yeah. Oh my god, it's all connecting. We only got that from Total Shoto's side back then, and now we get that from Toya's side, you know? It's crazy as drive at a kid to become a hero 
and uh, he's one of the craziest villains of them all now, you know. It's giving me like Harry Potter vibes. Like, I don't want to pause it again. I'm just on a Harry Potter kind of kick right now because of the game that just came out, Hogwarts Legacy. But Voldemort parents conceived him. His mom, uh, I don't want to say like a slave, but gave his dad a love potion. And so it wasn't actual love. And so them being conceived on fake love made it so Voldemort, Tom Riddle could never feel love and only felt like hate and anguish and stuff like that. And I'm not saying it's exactly like this, but having a marriage and him knowing it was made outside of love and forcible reasons and this, that, and like, it's only going to pile on. It was already mental issues that are building right now. Like, I'm not saying it's understandable, but it's kind of understandable how, how Dabby Toya turned into Dabby, you know? Mm, so he's a late bloomer for puberty. That's what made his flames go from a uh, red to blue. I feel so bad. You have to accept. I'll make you glad I was born. Seems like he feels like he was born. And so he goes and takes it out on Ray, and then Avi. Oh my god. That's those eyes. She always sees NG Todoroki in those eyes, and then comes the water. I can only imagine hearing about your son dying when you're in the hot. Oh. It's crazy just how different of a man it ever is now. His tear ducts were burned out, just like he said, you know? That is so dark. How much bodily pain and suffering he actually went through. His skin burned off. That visualization is so crazy, and then the transition and cut over to Ray. Vestiges. That's, that's why she did that to Shoto. Uyumi just wants to keep everyone happy. She's that kind of girl. So they all are taking some sort of responsibility and accountability. They're saying definitely Endeavor's the start, and he's the main reason, but they all just kind of went with it, you know? Not yours to bear alone. That's crazy. This is... Oh, I got goosebumps right now. It's not even funny. That's what I'm saying. She's taking charge right now. This is the most we've ever seen her take charge in their entire marriage. That's why I fucking Shoto's the GOAT. Don't have someone else. Oh, is that Hawks? We're having the whole squad and best team. Oh my, don't get me wrong. I'm so excited and happy we're having this team up. I just feel bad that another person. Wow. Talk about a good mother. All the trouble Dabby Toya caused Hawks. No hesitation. This is a room full of accountability and no judgments and just... There's a lot of relating going on from multiple people. I gave up and abandoned them and Shoto did not do that with his mom. Oh, I got goosebumps again. God damn it. Shigaraki, Dabby, Toga, Spinner, Skeptic. 
Seven here in high moves. Even though it feels like we just ended a crazy arc, <laughs> it does feel like we're also just getting started, you know? In two days! <laughs> These are some of my favorite heroes. Endeavor is one of my favorite heroes. This family is one of my favorite families. Come on. Team up of the top three. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yes. Not just on your shoulders. Share that with some other people. Come on, man. Oh, god damn. God, I thought that was the end of the episode. That is some information that I am not sure we should be spreading around. Endeavor obviously heard about it from the Shigaraki, Bakugo, Deku crazy fight, but I don't know if I want that being exposed. There's a lot of shit being exposed right now. I don't know if I want that being out there. And Endeavor knows there's a connection to or, uh, Deku and All Might. Yup. <laughs> That's a good transition. That's <laughs> <laughs> to wrap him up. Deku's still in a coma. <laughs> don't, don't ever say that so seriously again, best genus. That why? Oh, okay, so we're gonna cut in there next episode, and we're gonna see his POV throughout these last two episodes. And we're come on, man. All right, on to the next episode, episode 18. This one is called Izuku Midoriya and Tomura Shigaraki. And if that title doesn't fit perfectly with what I think is going to happen, I'm trying to go see these previous users. Let's go talk to them. We need to talk. That's the one with the black whip, right? Oh, there's like a council. Oh, this guy looks sick. Fourth? I'm just gonna pause it real quick so I can get his name. Oh, he isn't float because that's Nana. Oh, yep. Spidey sense. I like that. <laughs> he was, it was like he woke up from a nap. Oh, that's Spidey sense. Age 40 when he died. At 40? Yeah. I thought those were just design purposes. That's a good reasoning. It became his true quirk. You can't... <sighs> so, I mean, Deku, who's quirkless as well, you know? So, Deku... Yeah. That is a good point. I didn't think about that at all. Which is getting even rarer and rarer, an endangered species in your generation. Wow. That is crazy. That the 8th and ninth wielder were both quirkless. That is crazy to think about. What would that be, Miss Nana? Can you kill my grandson? Because if you can't, there's not going to be a next person to be able to. Like, Deku has to end the lineage of All for One in his life. Exactly what he thought. Yeah, 
So they're pretty much saying, Deku, this is not Naruto. Don't try to talk no jutsu him, you know? You gotta kill him. Damn. ワンフォールの原則を捻じ伏せるためには強い思い、強い感情でワンフォールを上回るしかないさ。逃げられないという話の後に言うのは卑怯なやり方だと思います。死柄木戸村は私の孫だ。愛し続けた大人が十六の子
You don't realize the power of his quirk. Yeah. Like, it was, you know. Well worded, I would say. Uh, I mean, I get that. Well, would you care to have a, a meeting with the villains and ask them the same thing? Look me in the eye. Even after all that, they're still gonna stand up and fight. I got, I know I've said it already like 10 times, I got goosebumps. Good men, good men. So, because Deku's their number one target, he's dipping. Being like Spider Man, the, 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 the less I can put you guys. Holy shit. Yeah, he doesn't want them to be caught up in it. I completely understand. I just am shocked more than anything. Yeah, think about where we started in season one, just trying to get into the school. <laughs> versus where we are now. Oh my god. Sayonara. Who knows what's going on in Uraraka's head. Who saves them? I love that it was Uraraka giving that narration in the past couple of minutes and also ended with that. Because she's been saying that over this season and last season. In April, Deku's gone. What? What's the show called anymore? My Hero Not Go to Academia? What the fuck? Is this the start of the look I've been seeing everywhere? Oh, I've been seeing pictures all over Twitter of Deku dressed. What does that mean? The final act begins. What the fuck? All right, on to episode 19. This one is called Full Power. Jailbreaker. Uh-oh. To... Those are from the other school. He can control Earth, and she can, like, fold her body or something like that. They're from Miss Joke's school, right? Tetsubutsu. Third year. Yoshindo. I love Miss Joke and her crush on Aizawa. I wonder what she's going to think of his new injuries. Oh. Interesting seeing them again. Not what I was expecting at all. Look at just the status of Japan and just everywhere around here. This is like full-blown post-apocalyptic world we're living in right now. This is our town and we'll protect it ourselves. Their faith in heroes is gone. Negotiation Miss Joke style. Yep. All retired. That is rough. <laughs> He's just like, guys, listen to me. He's so butthurt. I get it. That's the struggle of dealing with stubborn people. Makabe. He's here? Itajiro. Saw him with his own... He's heading your way. Who? One of the Nomus? One of the prison breakers? Oh my god. Someone who's very powerful. Oh, muscular. Okay. Bakugo Sr. pretty much. Even though we know he's not related to Bakugo. He just looks so much like him. I think because they're kids, hopefully they don't die, but... Ooh, I like it. Oh, just like that. Oh, see, he thinks those are heroes. They're really not heroes. Those are just people. Is there too much density in the muscles? Yep, the vibrations can't even get through. Because if he could vibrate his body, he could just can do some crazy shit. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Oh, I like Shino even more. I'm fucking with Shino right now. Oh yeah, shaking your brain, just hitting your brain against your skull a couple of times can cause brain damage, bleeding. And he can even cover his head. I 
I see green lightning. If you're telling me this is my boy Deku, I'm flipping out. It's a rematch time, baby. Oh my god, look at his new fit, too. Look at that. Oh my god. He's like that. Oh my god. Oh, he just wants that serotonin dopamine kick again. He's making another fake eye. He is so calm, cool, and collected right now, even for Deku. This is wild. Yes, you have. Little, little would you know. What? So were you? I love how we can get active advice from the previous users. That's a good point. You need to develop your quirk to make it an ultimate move, you know? Yeah, you just got a variety fucking multi-tool, you know? Yes. Exactly. Think of it like Nen. Yeah, so we can't just brute force him. We're gonna have to do something else. Use these tools at our disposal. The smoke screen is so sick. Float. I forgot we had float too. I love how he says their number and then... Oh my god. Danger sense. He's like looking away to dodge him every time with the danger sense then he That was our biggest change from fighting people before to now. Now we care about backstories, so what's Deku gonna do with that? But deep down, he saw that kid crying. Only 45 right in a very precise spot. Oh my god! Oh my god, that animation just snapped. That was a crazy punch. This is my full power. I love how he's not just brute force. Let's just keep punching people to beat them. Like, there's tactics, observations, utilizing multiple different tools. Yep. He could throw anything, it'll go whatever direction he wants. He could. The other guy can turn stuff hard, right? Mr. Smith, what does he do? Oh, fuck. I love seeing the Ketsubutsu people. Look at my boy Deku. Oh, my, just like that, it's over. Just like that. Hey, they might be stubborn old old people, stubborn old goats, but at least they're taking care of Shindo. Shouts out to them. He was... Oh, he wrecked. Oh, thanks, Lord. <laughs> Look at what you can become, Shindo. Yes, he was vastly different. Oh my god, I love that. And just like that. Oh, just dropping off another jailbreaker. You know me. I love how... I think, overall, it's because he's trying to just hide his identity from everyone. Just so, word... Doesn't get out that Deku was around here, Midori, uh, Midoriya, so uh, Shigaraki and All for One don't start looking for him. But I just love the fact that he's doing that. Like, even though he's got his uniform on and he's hiding his face, he still just smokescreened everyone out. No one's seeing who I am. I'm going to come in, save your ass, but you won't know who did it. Your friendly neighborhood Deku man. Okay, Batman now with the Batmobile. Chill out. Who are you feeling like, Toshinori? Looking like that. Those are the ones we use in the movie from David Shield's daughter. Am I right on that? Am I correct on that reference? I'll never get over his ringtone. Endeavor Hawk's best genus taking out another villain.
This is a very interesting situation. I was not expecting the show to go. My mom's only job is to worry about you, you know? So I'm not going to blame her, you know, for being upset, you know? Understandable. It's kind of like what Hawks just said to All Might, though. I know it's a very uncomfortable position, but you need to support him in this, sadly, you know? This is something that Deku has to do. A great transition, great cut. Shouts out, I think her name is Inko. Shouts out, Inko. Midoriya. That was a great moment, too. Even he's crying. Shouts out, Toshinori. And he's leaving, too. <laughs> no. At least I gotta hold my phone like that. Huh. Yeah. Shouts out, Nana. Is the scarf we're wearing right now from Grant Reno? The cape? It is his cape because he's a short guy, you know, but. I didn't even realize that. I like it so much more because of that. Endeavor, Hawks, Best Genius, and All Might. <laughs> Come on. Look at this team. This is the last thing I was expecting for this arc. I was expecting training, sadness, non-action. <laughs> Not this. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. All right, on to the current episode, episode 20, I believe. This one is called Hired Gun. A monster? The hell? Oh, what is this, V-Stars? Was he using Bubble bubble Blast? Was this Pokemon? Ooh, Deku coming to save her. I'm very curious. Yeah, I mean, I know these are civilians with support items just trying to protect their town you know but you could be attacking anyone uh-huh that's not how that works sir but i guess shouts out to my boy he looks so rough and gritty in that outfit but so badass he's so kind and compassionate Oh, I love his float. The rest of the squad, Toshinori in the Batmobile. A little lunch? You gotta eat something, my man. Come on, he's so focused on heroism, he's not even eating. Shouts out All Might. I love his list of quirks, man. He's like Spider-Man and Superman, all my, everything mixed up into one. And I love how we can constantly now talk to all the previous users. And I love how they're visualizing them. They have their own color. It literally looks like we're in Gotham. We're not in fucking, uh, Japan anymore. We're in Gotham. <laughs> Are we talking to the people with their backs turned? Who are we talking to? Yes. Let me know more about them, please. My hero. My hero? Academia? Because we've been able to use everyone else's quirk so far. Banjo. Black Whip. Uh, Danger Sense. Bloat. Smoke Screen. So we're not going to get theirs yet. Yeah, so we're going to master the other, what, four or five we know now? I get where they're coming from. Especially them living during the cruelest era of All for One's reign. That was before he had the scar? Did they originally, like, break him out of All for One's 
area? None of this would have happened. They are truly are the start of this. I recognize his voice actor. Mm. Ooh, the music i'm getting goosies again man the way they're turning that fire just got relit under them the stage is ready i love how they're all colored in their own smoke nana come on release it all eat them pork cutlets motherfucker come on <laughs> get that energy It's going to take a while to win back the public opinion. I get huge Persona 5 vibes from that. You know, sometimes the public loves you. Sometimes sometimes they hate us, you know. So, but we still do what we can for them. Best genius caught them all. No littering. Come on. That's not what I was expecting. That has to be purple hair girl. Oh, they're making their move move. With the music in the background? Way dressed in green. Yep. Oh, she's a sniper. Use smoke screen immediately and hide. Hold on, hold on. Did I just miss that? Is her arm the sniper? Oh my god. She's like the body Ikalgo took over in Hunter x Hunter that was shooting the flea sniper. You know what I'm talking about? From Hunter. Oh, what the fuck? She turns her hair into the bullets. And it's like this. And this is where the gun comes out. That's crazily cool. でもそんなの大抵の脱獄には不可能だ。一人タルタロスにいた彼女以外はね。それってその人は俺の先輩にあたる。もちろんこちらも最優先で捜索中だけど、彼女が仕掛けてきた。What are you talking about, man? It's like that? ダークブルーとピンクの繊維を織り込んでできた弾丸。Former commission hero from the public safety, Lady Nagant. Oh my god, she sniped that phone. Oh, oh my god, grenaded. I want to know who's after him, too. Was the person next to her? Was that Chisaki? He can curve bullets. What is this? Wanted? He caught it. The only thing he could do. He cannot dodge him in air like that. She has an assassin's dream quirk. Six hundred meters. Homing. I didn't even know that was the name of his quirk. Her quirk is her sniper. She's just that good of a shot. Did you say three kilometers? I won't lie. She's kind of hot. Even Mr. Snipe was jealous of. Lady Nagant. And she's a full kilometer out. That's a good way to counter snipers, but she can fire in succession. I wonder what they told Overhaul to get him to even be here, you know? Because she's the one who helped him out because he didn't have arms to, you know, get out of there. 
<laughs> oh, that's intimidating. He's like, you're a real deal. Oh, this is such a chess match. He's reading so much. So that's what the grenade slash sniping is transmitter was, you know? <laughs> yeah, he's already given her, like, details. And is he controlling her now? Because people that were under his control didn't even know it, right? He gave her a quirk. He didn't control her. Airwalk. Yeah. Oh, talk about some episodes of My Hero Academia. Oh my lord. Were those just so incredibly good. Starting off with episode 17, the wrong way to put out a fire. I absolutely loved getting essentially even more the full side of Endeavor's backstory. Everything, whether it's Toya, Shoto, Rei, everything. It's nice even seeing the flashbacks we've already seen from like season two, three, from Shoto's perspective, from Toya's perspective, and getting some of the very minute holes we didn't have filled in as well. Um, great great it was like i said during the reaction i'm not saying anything dabby did or does is justified but i can understand partially why he turned out the way he did um same with ray same with shoto i just love i think my favorite part of that even though it was all great i think was when hawks and best genus came in and hawks also having crazy parent issues same with shoto saw Shoto and how he forgave his mom, whereas Hawks just ran away and abandoned his parents. And he thinks Shoto is genuinely like cool and, and incredible for that, you know, and, and, and I really enjoy that. Like it takes a lot for you to forgive. He's still working on his dad. He's still working on that, but to forgive his mother and to talk, call, still call her mom, is that like, that is very big of Shoto. And I love how Hawks saw that. And so shouts out to all of them. But great story, and it ended with uh, Deku talking to the previous users. I thoroughly enjoy that. Thoroughly enjoy that whole conversation of how quirklessness is actually the reason as to why we're able to uh, Deku and All Might were able to hold on to it for so long, versus um, the other uh, Shino Mori, the fourth user. So, and then we got the second and third user who helped the brother, the original user, like escape all for one's clutches and like i so much shit was going on and i'm so happy deku left ua we're not even at ua anymore we're not gonna see we're, i mean we're still gonna see them you know we're not gonna see any all the hilariosities from the kids are gonna i'm gonna miss them so much ah great episodes man deku during his doing his rogue gritty fucking hero thing i love it we got Lady Nagant, who has a new quirk from All for One, who can airwalk and also use her human sniper. Pow, pow, pow. Awesome. She's hot, too, so it's like, god damn. Oh, overall, fantastic episodes. Can't wait to finish out the season. I don't know how many other seasons are going to be. I have the full box set of My Hero. I can read the manga if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that, but I'm just very curious. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Click that subscribe button if you are not subscribed. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions. Um, check out the social medias, all that. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.